Increasing the odds of finding your partner. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Relationship Thursday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplify Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, this topic came into being. I was thinking of an incident that occurred uh, once while I was driving ride share. Uh, there was a young lady, you know, we had been talking back and forth throughout the ride. It was a pretty long ride, so we got to have a very long and in-depth conversation. But during that conversation, she had asked the comment, the question. She said, do you have a girlfriend? And I said, no. And so we continued to talk more and more. And ultimately, the conversation came up where I told her, I said, well, you know, I'm, um, I have a book I released. And I also work with people on getting their relationships together, uh, self-love. And we just, you know, continued the conversation, just just talking and sharing different ideals. And then once we got to her destination, she said, oh, do you have a, a phone number? And I said, uh, I just handed her my telephone. And so she called herself. And a few uh, moments, well, not it was moments, probably within the hour, though, she sent me a picture of herself and said it was a pleasure to meet you. Now. I was sharing this with some friends and they were giving me a hard time and they were saying, oh, that's your girlfriend and going through all that. And and I was kind of, you know, I, I remember when the girl first talked to me and she asked about the number. My first thought was, she's not someone that I'm attracted to. And I was like, okay, so how do you kind of get out of this without, you know, giving her your number? And then, or getting her number, however that works out, because like I said, she called me. But anyway... The bottom line is it hit me through that process of me figuring out how to get out of this. I said, you're being a hypocrite because you've made the comment that everyone needs to date more and everyone you date does not have to equal intimacy. So what do I mean? In our society, we link up and the only people that we're really trying to go on a date with is someone that we're physically attracted to. And that means I need to go back first and explain to what I consider a date to be. A date is any time two people uh, make an appointment and the connection actually occurs. So me actually even picking her up was a date. Um, not the kind of date that most people think of, but it was. She called, you know, through the app, of course, and then I met her and we got together and I took her to her destination. But the bottom line, that was a date. No intimacy, wasn't even a friendship at that point or anything, but we communicated to create that as we talked. But I guess what I'm getting to and in, in, in trying to share and, and why I'm saying you can increase your odds of um, finding your partner is by dating more. And again, my definition of dating is what just occurred. I mean, a date. Dating is if you continue to see this particular person and you guys continue to do things, then that's dating. Through the dating process is how you get to know people. Um, and, I, and I know I've shared this story on many occasions. I have a friend that that's kind of what she did. And the gentleman... It was funny because she had the had, had told everybody who what her husband was going to look like. That basically he's going to be six four, pretty much like a basketball player build, and he's going to be wealthy and all these kind of things. So the bottom line is, a gentleman became a good friend of hers who was maybe five two. I don't know. I might be exaggerating, but she was five nine, five ten. So yes, there was a big. Uh, difference in, in height, but she was the one that was taller. And they would talk all the time and she would tell me the conversations and how they'd be on the phone and laughing and stuff. So I started to tease her about her husband. And she'd be like, dang, my husband, you know how my husband gonna look and, and uh, that's just my friend. But what happened is as they continued to talk and get to know each other and started to date and dating, which means they start to do it more than once, she was able to see past all the exterior stuff, as you guys hear me talking about all the time, and they ended up married. He wasn't 6'4". He wasn't wealthy. Uh, probably the 
thing that he did have that she had commented that her husband must have is he had uh he was a god fearing man but aside from that that was it and um so bottom line and not saying that when i was talking about the young lady that put my the name in, in my phone that it was something that was designed to ultimately lead to intimacy my point was the dating part that my immediate reaction was thinking intimacy and so I don't want to give her my number because she's not someone that I'm physically attracted to. But that's why I had to have the conversation with myself and go, but you're being a hypocrite and you never know where this leads, uh, could lead. And when I shared that example with my friends that were teasing me, telling me that that was my girlfriend or whatever, um, once I shared that particular thing that you never know what's going to happen, they could just be a good friend, someone you hang out with. And I think a lot of people, and I've talked about this before, I think they cheat themselves out of having, enjoying life because we do ultimately, when we meet a person, we instantly think in relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever. And we don't take the time to say, let's enjoy the journey and just enjoy the company of people. And when I said that, uh, they were instantly like, yeah, you know, she could end up a business associate. You guys can end up business connections or she knows someone. If I, and that's my point is that we lose out on the opportunities and things that open up in the world when we just learn to just be friendly to people. And that's where this takes me to the conversation on increasing your odds of finding a partner. And for ladies especially, especially ladies that walk around with your head down, you don't look at nobody, you don't smile. And I know you have to deal with the fact that a lot of guys take the smiling or whatever as a hint that you're interested. You can't worry about those particular guys. But the key is you're also turning in by not looking up, not smiling and that kind of stuff. The guy that could be the right guy for you, the guy you could be interested in, is, go is not going to talk to you either because you come across as a person that's kind of evil or mad or whatever, and it's like, ooh. And as I've talked about before, nobody wants to get rejected. So someone that who's going out of their way to try to act kind of, you know, um, well, it seems very unfriendly, uninviting, I should say, then you lose out on the opportunity. So think about this, for example. If you date one person a month, then that means for the year you will date 12 people. And you believe at this point by dating 12 people out of what? There's supposedly like 7 billion people in the world. You think just in dating 12, you're going to find the right person. And it's going to be Mr. Mr. Right or Mrs. Right. See how the odds are against you? They're stacked against you. So you have to increase that number and put it, because even if you did one a week, that's 52 people a year. Again, the odds are against you. Now, I'm not saying that means you need to go date two, three times a week, which, hey, if it works, if you can fit in your schedule, make it happen. But again, a date could be, like I told you, and two people make a connection. You could actually make a phone call and talk to, like the young lady I'm talking about. Her and I could just talk on the telephone. And through that conversation, we could see if there's anything in common and whether it's going to go anywhere else. That's a date, the moment we actually connect on the telephone. And again, no intimacy, no nothing, but it gives us the opportunity to talk with others, um, see where it could go. It could be a friendship. It could end up someone that you just go to the movies with, someone you just go to the ball games with, someone who has business connections, or you guys could do a business connection together. But the bottom line is you have to put yourself in a position. That's why when people talk about luck, it's not luck. It's putting yourself in a position, as they say, when opportunity and preparation cross each other, that's when success pops in and that's what the world will call luck. And what do I mean by preparation? Kind of what we talk about on Self Love Monday. Why I talk about reading uh, uh, books on, on improving yourself and getting yourself to where 
you're very um, confident in yourself. You love yourself. You know where you're headed. You know what you want out of life. You know what you're looking for in relationships, um, whether it's intimate or just friends. But you know you're very confident in the direction that you're headed. That's the preparation. Then when the opportunity, which means the different people that cross your path, giving them the opportunity to, to, to get to know them to see if they're uh, the right fit for you. Uh, today, matter of fact, I just saw a video. I didn't watch the whole video, but I just saw a little part. The guy, it was like a prank where he's over there trying to flirt with the girl uh, just to see where uh, her head was. Because he's kind of, it's one of those things where guys try to figure out if the woman's a gold digger or whatever. And uh, But anyway, bottom line is he just talked to her for a little bit and he would talk to her about going out on a date. And the first thing she asked him after he said about them going out, she said, well, it's possible. She said, but um, what's your credit score? Folks. And you guys have heard me talk about this so many times before. I ah, quit focusing on the external. And in this case, She's looking at him almost like, again, boyfriend, future husband, whatever. That's the first thought process. That's why the first question is, what's your credit score? The credit scores change depending on life. And you guys have heard me talk about, especially with COVID. There are a lot of people who had it going on before COVID who don't have it going on right now, who had a great credit score, whose credit scores have taken a... Uh, uh, a hit right now. They've lost their businesses. Their income fell. So they couldn't pay bills, which means it's going to affect their credit and their credit score. And all of a sudden, those that are focused on something like that, those women that are really into that will end up leaving their guy because his credit score is messed up. Wow. Now, that's why you hear me talk about integrity and character because even the people that have taken a hit but have great character and integrity they're going to bounce back i heard somebody say um you have to realize that the person that's willing to be with you when you're making a thousand dollars will definitely be with you when you're making a million but the person that is with you when you were making a million may not be a person that would have been with you when you're making a thousand. That's that's the point to me when I talk about when a person asks for your credit score. They're a person that they ain't willing to fight for you when you got the thousand. But they sure will be willing to join in if you got the million. That's why they want to know your credit score and they want to know all the other stuff. That's why for me, I'm saying character and integrity, as you guys hear me say over and over and over and over, Figure that out and we can go acquire the million together. Does that make sense? We can get the credit score, even if it's down. We can get that together and clean that up. So what I'm saying is quit making these quick judgments. And I had to gut check myself because when the young lady um, did that, my first reaction is I'm not attracted to her. So my first thoughts were... How can I get out of, you know, without trying to be mean or whatever? Because I had already told her I, I didn't have, I wasn't in a relationship. So now, you know, if she wants to get your number. It's like, I mean, that's why you hear some ladies lie. Well, guys do it too. They'll tell you they are in a relationship because they don't want to have to be in the position that I found myself in. But I had to gut check myself and go, but Ron. Didn't you say, aren't you teaching that you should date? Not that it has to be intimate, not that it has to be, but there's so many other things that could come out of a date and you're shutting the door because your first thought is, am I physically attracted to her? At that point, I realized I was actually being a hypocrite to what I'm actually teaching because I do believe that men and women can be friends. Um even though the world tries to tell you it's not true. It comes down to the, again, character and integrity of the individual because for some men, they can't be friends with women. But it's not because men and women can't be friends. It's because the guy himself doesn't have great character and integrity and he can't um, 
resist when a woman may come at him that, uh, and, it, oh, and I shouldn't even say he can't because we know he can't. He chooses not to resist when it's there. And so for him, it's easier to say men and women can't be friends. Because for me, I can be your friend and say no. Because I get to make that decision on what where I'm going. It doesn't matter her agenda or what it is that she wants in terms of the relationship if it's not something that I don't want. You got to be strong enough in yourself to be able to, to tell people it's not a relationship you want to be in. So, but anyway, um, I mean, as far as going, going to the intimacy, you don't have to do it just because it's presented, which a lot of guys do, and they justify that as just being a man. And it's like, no, you just, your character is, is questionable and, and integrity also. Um, just because somebody throws it at you doesn't mean that you have to accept. So anyway, bottom line, I might have got off track there, but <laughs> the bottom line of what I'm saying and the purpose of this video is saying, but you have to increase the number of dates, which mean could just be phone calls. COVID was a perfect example where it was saying people can speed date. And by that, you could be able to talk to a whole bunch of people. And I'm not here to tell you dating apps are good, bad, right, and wrong. I do know it's become uh, the mo most popular outlet I've heard the numbers that are way over 50% of people that are getting relationships now is through dating apps. Um, so if that works for you, but the bottom line, this was a perfect timing with COVID, even though things are starting to open up now, but with COVID where you could actually do this and do a lot of dating real quick through apps where you can have conversations with people and see where it goes and it, it without the intent, because remember, you don't want to go into the conversation with the intent, I'm looking for a boyfriend or husband, except for those of you who have already made the decision, I'm just looking for a man or I'm just looking for a woman and I ain't got time to be out here dating. Cool. Take that approach. Chances are, those of you who have that mentality are single and have been single for a while. And again, that's not to offend, but that thought process because... As human beings, we pick up on each other's vibes. And if I know that your whole intent is you're just looking for someone to marry, and if I'm not ready to get married, and that doesn't mean I don't want to get married, I'm just not ready right this moment. That doesn't mean it can't change through the relationship. You guys have known, I've shared my story that I didn't know I was ready to commit. You know, I was going, I had made the decision I was going to be a player for the rest of my life until I had the nightmare, the dream that I caught my, my, which was my girlfriend at the time, caught her cheating. Boom. I wanted, that was the woman for me and I married her. <laughs> but that wasn't my uh, initial thought process. But, because again, I was a guy that said I was going to stay single and I was, I was just going to be a player for the rest of my life. She changed that through dating and a relationship with her. You guys follow me? So the only way you really, one, you have to increase your odds, which means you have to start having more relationships and they don't have to be intimate. You don't have to be, again, looking for a husband, boyfriend when you do it because it could be someone that on the exterior you're not attracted to, like I started off earlier with one of my friends, and end up with the, with the person that's right for you because you look beyond the exterior because you got to know the interior and now you're making a decision based on knowledge, insight, character, integrity, the things that you need versus using artificial exterior stuff to decide on whether I'm going to give you the time of day. Um, again, that's why, um, and, I, and, I, and I shared that where I had a young lady ask me that. She was like, if I asked you for your W-2 and, and we just met, would you be offended? I said, the moment you said that, we would we would be done. And she's like, whoa, why? I said, because it's personal information. It's none of your business. This, and I feel the same way when a woman asks for your credit score. It's none of your business. That's my personal information. You haven't earned insight into my personal stuff. Because again, like I said, I'm not looking at you as my wife. I'm not looking at you as, as my girlfriend. If I come in with that mentality that I'm dating to see 
where these different relationships will take me and if they need to go to the next level, then I, I'm not, I don't want to know your personal information because I want to get to know you. You guys get me? I want to know you. The exterior and all the other stuff could look beautiful. And I have no character and integrity. I can have incredible integrity and character, but things have happened in my life where the outside doesn't look good right now. But because of my character and integrity, those things are going to end up beautiful. And again, I can go from the thousand dollars to the million and you'll lose out on that person because they had a thousand and you didn't take the time to just get to know them. And then you want to go after the person that has the million that has no character and integrity and they'll drop you in a heartbeat because guess what? They'll feel that when you're in the relationship that you're just after the exterior and it's not them that you're truly happy. Again, that's why you see a lot of people that have a lot of money that are unhappy because it's hard to distinguish who's really with you for you and willing to battle with you versus the people that are with you because of what you have and that's all they're actually chasing and you'll find out what they're truly all about if you were ever to lose anything like people have done here in COVID-19. So the bottom line of this particular video, date more, smile more, lift your head, take the time to get to know people, decide on that after I, as I get to know you after the first conversation, which is a date. Do we want to have a second date, a second conversation? And it may not be an actual facility. It may just be another phone call. It's still a date. Let's do more dating. Because once we did it more than once, it's dating. And then we can decide if it wants to go to a physical date, uh, actual, you know, hangout. And, and let's see where this thing goes. And you might do like my friend and end up with someone who's totally opposite of all the exterior things that you said was going to be your spouse but you found the right person for you because you, ju you judged them based on who they were, their character and integrity. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. For those of you uh, who I talk to on Self Love Monday, we'll see you on Monday. And then for Relationship Thursday, we'll see you back here on Thursday. Run on over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, ronsimplifiedmyers.online and see all the things that I got going on now. And as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Do more dating. And then that will allow you to find the person that you want to actually continue this journey we call life with. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.